of Louis review tutorial and demo. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to review up Loi and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on up Loi, you could also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is up Loi, it is an innovative AI powered collaborative workspace designed to enhance productivity while ensuring users maintain control over their data, in which it offers a versatile platform for creating and managing various types of content including documents, notes, and project management tools, where users can seamlessly collaborate by inviting team members into a shared workspaces and organizing their content into public or private spaces. So now to create an account, just click the link in the description, or you could also click the button below is start for free. And you could also download this application of Uploway by clicking download now button to proceed. However, in those options, I'm going to choose to use the web in which by signing in, you will be directed on this page and it will show you on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating. But as you can see, we're currently under this getting started and it will show us some of the things that we need to complete to properly use this kind of platform or application. Now on the left side panel, you could also navigate here your workspace by simply clicking this My Workspace button. It will show you an option right here, including an option to add a new workspace and even invite members in here, import Notion. But let's start navigating these invite members in here by simply clicking on it on this pop-up window. All we need to do is to simply enter here the email address of a person that we need or we want to send the invitation. And after that, you can now proceed by clicking the Send Invites button to proceed. Now moving on to add a new workspace, just click again this page and click this new workspace button. Upon clicking on it, on this pop-up window, just simply enter here the name of the workspace that you prefer. For example, I'm going to enter work and click create button. And after that, you should see here that the workspace is now being created. However, you will be able to be directed on this page where you should see here that you need to install the application of Upflowy. However, going back to this page once again, from here, you could also navigate this import from Notion by clicking on it. It will show us on this pop-up window that we can simply drop our Notion zip file in here to upload or click in our computer files. Now moving on aside from importing from Notion, you could also navigate here this upgrade to Pro Plan, in which it will show you a variety of options of plan that you can purchase. But going back to this getting started option or this workspaces, it will show in here some of the guide including this mobile guide if you want to use this app Chloe on your mobile. You can start by simply clicking this mobile guide button right here, in which on this pop-up window you should see here some of the guide including how you can start adding a content and you can also type some of this including to insert a to-do list, a bullet list in here, numbered list, toggled list, and any other shortcut. And aside from that, if you also scroll down right here, it will show you some of the styling that you could also navigate and access to make the context bold, italic, underline, change the font style, the font size. And if you scroll down right here, it will show you the interface in mobile. You could also manage the pages using your mobile in here. And also some of the more actions including add to favorites, rename it, duplicate, and even delete option. But that is for mobile guide. And now for our web page guide, or by navigating this on web page, it will show us in here some of the to-dos that we need to follow or also completed to start completing our own profile in here. However, it might take some time to load in here. Now moving on on the left side panel, we could also navigate the shared option in here. By clicking on it, you should see here on the right side panel some of the shared documents and also pages. And by clicking these three dots, we could also manage the space, create a new space in here and even delete this space. While by clicking this plus button, it will automatically show us on this pop-up window that we can simply add a new page. From here, you simply enter the title of the page that you want. For example, I'm going to enter here the name or context page 1. And you could also add an icon or add a background cover in here. Where in, let's say I'm going to add an icon, it will show us in here an emoji and also different kind of icons that we can choose from. So let's say I'm going to choose in those options this one. By clicking on it, we could also choose the color palette for it. And as you can see, I've now created here. And below, we can add more options by clicking the six dots. You'll be able to open this menu by clicking this one. We have here the option 
to delete duplicate or copy this link to block. And now for more options by clicking this plus button right here, you will be able to add a different kind of elements including context, heading 1, image, bullet list. For instance, on this bullet list, I'm going to enter outline. But you'd also click again the plus button and navigate the other elements in here such as image, a to-do list, a divider, link to page, document, call out, outline, mod equation, toggle heading, emoji, and even file in here. And now by simply closing this page, you will now be able to be directed once again to this page and on the left side panel you can navigate the trash and quick note if you want to wherein you could also start writing something in here as we did before where you could also make it a to-do list, number list and even in a bullet form in here and you can make it bold, italic or underline depending on your preferences and from here it will show you that you could also navigate to change the color of the font in here and now moving on, going back to the page in here on the left side panel under this general, we could also navigate this to do's, wherein it will show us some of the thing or some of our to do lists, including to try out the AI chat, install AppFlowy mobile, and from here you could also start installing this application or AppFlowy by clicking the icon on the top right corner. While well, by clicking this three that's right here, you will be able to move or even delete these pages. So if you click the icon, or logo of Upflowy, you will be directed on this page and it will show you that you have the option to download it or start for free using the website that we are just navigating right now. However, the only cons of using the website is that it does not provide any kind of elements and feature including the template that only offers or you can access using by installing the application of Upflowy. And from here it will show you some of the option if you have a Mac OS, a Windows or Linux. So you can simply choose here by clicking the download button depending on the devices that you have. Now going back in here, as you can see, there's no other kind of options or feature aside from all of this. Well, if you install the application of Upflowy, you'll be able to navigate or access some of the templates that you can use in creating a notes. In which those kind of templates we can find here below under this footer section or product section by clicking this templates button, you'll be able to be directed on this page and it will show you a variety of template to choose from all on the left side panel you will be able to see here some other kind of categories we have here for project management startups human resources sales and crm team meetings ai powered docs wiki database and many more and by simply clicking on any of this template you can start customizing it on your application such as the simple weekly to-do list project one pager and many more and using some of this template enhance the user productivity and streamlining workflows. So again, you can start downloading the application by clicking the download button on the top panel to access the templates in here. But overall, that is just how you can start using AppFlowy. Thank you.